Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be taking you through factorizing a quadratic expression using algebraic identities. But before moving to the factorization, let us see what are the different kinds of identities which we have learnt in the previous grade, which you will be using today for factorization. So the three different identities which we have learnt is a plus b whole square, which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. And the third identity is a plus b into a minus b, which is nothing but the difference of the two square, a square minus b square. So what do we see in all these three identities? We see that if we have an expression of this form a square plus 2ab plus b square, we can write it as a plus b into a plus b, which is a plus b whole square. If an expression is of the form a square minus 2ab plus b square, it can be written as a minus b a minus b into a minus b and if an expression is of the form a square minus b square then we can write it as the product of a plus b into a minus b and as all these three cases we see that if our expression in any expression is in any one of these form then we can write it as the product of the factors correct and writing an expression as the product of the factors factor 1 factor 2 is called as factorization or this form is known as the factor form. Okay, so let us move ahead, take an example and see how we can apply algebraic identities to factorize the given expression. Now let us take um, an expression, an example, uh, say x square plus 4x plus 4. Okay, now before factorizing this expression, there are a couple of things which we need to observe looking at the expression. The first thing which we need to see is the number of terms in the expression. We see that in this particular expression, there are three terms. Yes, and the identities whose expansion consists of three terms are a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. It will surely not be a square minus b square because this has just two terms. Okay, so we if we have to apply the identity, it can be any one of this. If the identity is applicable here, it will be either a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square. The second thing which we need to observe is the sign of the middle term sign of the middle term or the term which is having x in it. So sign of the middle term here is positive and we know that if the middle term is positive then it definitely has to be the identity a plus b whole square because here we have the 2ab term which is the middle term which is positive. Okay. The third thing which has to be noticed is you have to look at the first term and the third term. Are the first and the third term perfect squares? Because in our identity, our first term is a square, our last term, third term is b square. Both are perfect squares. So in our expression, the first and the last term should also be perfect squares. So in our case, both of them are perfect square. The first term is x square and the last term can be written as 2 square. Okay. Now, once these three are checked, let us see if the identity a plus b whole square is applicable in this particular case. Okay, so now we can write x square as x whole square. 4 can be written as 2 whole square. We take a as x and we take b as 2. According to our identity, the middle term is 2ab. So 2 into a into b is in a 2 into x into 2 which is 4x and what do we see that 4x is our middle term also 
This means that our expression x square plus 4x plus 4 can be written as x square plus 2 into x into 2 plus 2 square which is nothing but x is a so a square plus 2ab plus b square. Okay, so we have written the expression x square plus 4x plus 4 as a square plus 2ab plus b square where a is x and b is 2. And what is a square plus 2ab plus b square? We know it is a plus b whole square or a plus b into a minus b. a plus b into a plus b. So, if we replace a and b by the values, we get x plus 2 into x plus 2. So, the expression x square plus 4x plus 4 satisfies the identity a plus b whole square and it can be written as the product of two equal factors x plus 2 and x plus 2 and we are able to factorize it. Let us see one more example. Mm. X, uh, let us take 4y square minus 12y plus 9. The first thing which we have to check is number of terms. So the number of terms are 3. So we know that if the identity is applicable, it could be either a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square. Second thing, sign of the middle term. Okay, so in this particular case, our middle term is negative. So this implies that if identity is applicable, then it has to be this thing. And the third thing is to see the first and the third term. Are the first and the third term perfect square? So 4y square can be written as 2y whole square. So it's a perfect square and 9 can be written as 3 square. So it is also a perfect square. Now let us go and see are we able to apply the identity a minus b whole square in this algebraic expression. So we write 4y square as 2y whole square, 9 as 3 square. We take a as 2y, we take b as 3, 2ab term will be 2 into 2y into 3 which gives you a 12y which is same as our middle term. Okay, so we can write our identity expression 4y square minus 12y plus 9 as 2y whole square minus 2 into 2y into 3 plus 3 square, which can be written as we have taken a as 2y and b as 3. So it can be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square, which is nothing but a minus b into a minus b. I replace a by the value. So 2y minus 3 into 2y minus 3. So we are able to factorize this particular expression in the form as product of two equal factors 2y minus 3 into 2y minus 3 both being in their simplest or the lowest form. We cannot reduce this fa fa factors further. We will not be able to simplify it any further. And when we have such state, we say that we are able to factorize the given expression. Okay. Let us take one more example, which is difference of squares. So, let us take an example, say 4x square minus 256. Okay. Now, let us see what all things we have to check in our algebraic expression to see if any identity is applicable. First is the number of terms. How many terms do we have in the given expression? We have got two terms. One is 4x square and one is 256. So definitely identity a plus b whole square is not valid and a minus b whole square is also not applicable here because their expansion consists of three terms. So it could be a square minus b square. Okay, now the second thing to check is, is the first and second term perfect square? Because we have here 
a square and b square. So we to bring the algebraic expression in this form, the first and the second term need to be perfect square. So we see that 4x square can be written as 2x whole square and 256 can be written as 16 square. So both of them are perfect square. So let us write 4x square as 2x whole square, 256 as 16 square. Now our a is 2x and b is 16. So this expression becomes the, the form a square minus b square which is a plus b into a minus b. So 2x whole square minus 16 square can be written as 2x plus 16 into 2x minus 16. Correct. Now, is this the factorized form? We are able to write our expression 4x square plus 2 uh, minus 256 in the form something into something, factor 1 into factor 2. But is this the factorized form? We say that an expression is in the factorized form only when the two factors are in the lowest state means we, we should not be able to simplify those factors any further. But what do we see here? We see that from both the factors 2x plus 16 and 2x minus 16, we are able to take out something common. So it, we have still not reached the factorized form. Let us solve it further ahead. So we have 2x, 2x, minus 16 into 2x, 2x plus 16 into 2x minus 16. Now, if we look at this bracket, we see that it can be simplified further by taking out the common factor 2. When 2 comes out, we are left with an x from the first expression and 8 from the second expression, uh, second term, sorry. And from the second bracket, we can again take out a 2 common. So, we are left with an x minus 8. Okay, this 2 into 2 makes a 4, x plus 8 into x minus 8. Okay, so we have three factors. One is the numerical factor 4, then we have x plus 8 and we have x minus 8. And we see that these factors are in their lowest form. Therefore, 4x square minus 256 in factorized form is written as 4 into x plus 8 into x minus 8. Okay, I hope this is clear to everyone that whenever we are getting something into something, we have to check the factors. We have to check whether factor 1 is in the lowest form and even factor 2 is in the lowest form. If not, please simplify it further and then give the final answer. This is not the factorized form.